Hello there Apps by viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it is with Religion Simulator. This is coming out of Gravity Software. So um, the whole point of this is that you've got a, a sort of world and you've also got a religion. Uh, my religion is in blue. And uh, there are competing religions within the world and you have got to have it so that your religion maintains and also becomes the dominant um, sort of force, the dominant religion across that world. Um, the whole idea is that you pick a starting area, I actually started just here, and you spread out through the use of expansions and um, uh, and so forth, conquering the world with your religious thought. Uh, as time moves on, you'll see that there's a timer at the top there, we're on 749.50. Um, that's the number of days that are going by. You can actually speed up time uh, with this little timer. And just next to the time you'll see that there is cash. And cash, as we all know, uh, is a great way for religion to spread. So uh, religion needs to expand. So what we do is we have expansions and we have a little uh, one of these and we start a choose a starting area and we can, you know, we can say, right, well, we want to start. Uh, where do we want to start? No, let's start. Hmm, let's start here and we can expand out to here. So we're expanding out and we're sending out one of our messengers and they're going to spread the word about um, our god. And in our instance, uh, our god is the god of Dairyly Lunchables. Uh, blessed be the vacuum-packed cheese and ham. So they're going out, spreading the word. And uh, meanwhile, back at home, back on the ranch, uh, we're developing fundamental religious ideologies. You'll see that I just picked up a coin. If we tap the little blue badge there, then uh, we are building out our religious tech tree. As you can see, I've already got belief systems in the thought, fundamental thought. I've already had a messiah sent. I was lucky. Um, uh, and uh, the messiah, by the way, was the laughing cow, uh, spreadable cheese person. Uh, so we, you know, as part of our belief systems, we can say, right, well, we believe in intelligent design. You know, uh, the Dairyly Lunchables made lunches delicious. Or we can say uh, creationism. Derrily Lunchables have always existed and will always continue to exist. Um, and the other cracker-related uh, snacks are simply put there to test our faith in Derrily Lunchables. Uh, we can also introduce things like ethics, uh, regulations. So if we want to be more zealot-like, uh, zealot we have regulations so we can unlock those. And then we can say, right, well, you, you can't lie. Lying is a sin. You can't have that. So uh, if we have that, then that increases faith, it increases knowledge, and it increases happiness. So we can unlock that. And then beyond that, uh, don't blaspheme, don't steal. You know, we, we, we've got all of these uh, these extra ideologies that we can get involved with. There's also God's word and uh, God's birthday. Celebrate the birth of God. It's the most important day during the year. Uh, we can, And again, this, this, this increases the way that we uh, the sort of powers that we have and it increases the faith of our nations and the faith of our nation is really really important so you'll see that this color uh, this uh, hexagon is a darker color than these other ones and the idea is that the darker the color the more faith you have so that when other religions come knocking for example this green religion um, the lighter the lighter color ones will simply be destroyed by the darker ones so you want to so you want to figure out whether or not uh, you want to expand aggressively and just take over really quickly or you want to cluster in an area and Get your religious faith really really hardcore and just you know really um, So that they're sort of very fundamental believers But to counter that there are also weapons. So if we wanted to we could choose weapons um, And we could send a bomb or thunder or fire storm or Armageddon to destroy um, These other areas so if you've you know if you've been building up your religion in one specific area, maybe weaponry is not going to work out too well against you. Um, there are also other things that you can do. So we've been building temples and uh, and also treasuries uh, and other bits and pieces as well. There's um, there's other stuff that you, you that you can get hold of. Um, but for example, this, uh, this is my treasury. Uh, it is increasing my income. And as we all know, money is very powerful in religion. It allows you to do more things. Um, so you know, we've got that, and that essentially means that our income is increasing. It means that we can buy more of these things. We can buy more weapons if we want to. Um, yeah, we can do all of that sort of stuff. But we can also uh, purchase temples, and this increases our faith. So this, you know, upgrades the strength here. So we're going to upgrade that. The the building changes out. We get this nice new, new look. And again, 
our faith gets even stronger and it sort of disseminates out into surrounding tiles as well uh, that we that we control and so again you know this green menace over here it's not going to work out too well against that one but down here you know we're not we're not doing brilliantly so we need to figure out how it is that we're going to uh, we're going to combat the spreading uh, spreading tide of the green religion uh, down here. I'm playing it on easy. This is the small world. There are multiple worlds. There are, there are, there are really huge areas. Uh, it's not just one on one. Sometimes you're going up against multiple religions. I'm playing this on easy. I would definitely be dead by now if I was playing it on hard. It is a very tough game. Um, it is closer to a board game. Uh, or a sort of than sort of real time strategy, but it has got elements of real time strategy in there as well. And it's an interesting look at the philosophy of religions and how mechanically they they kind of work and how how the word of of religious texts kinds of kind of spreads and and, and how dogma and ideology kind of moves around the world. So uh, that is coming out at some point in February. Uh, we've had access to this early test flight so do keep an eye out for religious uh, religion simulator uh, coming from gravity software should be out by the end of february and if you like the look of it or if you want to join my derily lunchable religion then do let me know in the comments this is peter with appspy.com we review you decide